Hi everyone, this is Dr. Akash Mangukya and welcome back to my channel. So let's first talk about the first aid. First aid, I know it is gold standard for your summary, but it is a gold standard for NEET PG2. Let's find out in this video. We are going to solve some questions from NEET PG 2023. So let's see if we have just done this first aid. I don't know if you can see. We'll be able to qualify this NEET PG exam or we will be able to score higher and stand out in the exam. So now we will just dig into the video and try to solve some questions and let's check that first aid has answered to those questions or not. So we are going to first start with our first question that is 60 year old male acute onset chest pain radiating to neck and interscapular region BP right arm is 100 by 60 and left arm is 160 by 80 and CXR chest x-ray is showing mediastinal winding. So this is a typical case of aortic dissection. So in the first state it is given like this. In first state as you can see aortic dissection and it is given mediastinal widening and plus or minus markedly unequal VP in arms. So this is a typical question for aortic dissection and it is solving the question. So if you have just done this 15 to 20 lines you will be able to solve this question. So now let's just move on to another question and that is this graph. This same graph is in the first aid. So this graph shows a filtration of blood in the kidney. So while our kidney does the secretion, it will secrete some substance and it will reabsorb some substance. So this graph is basically showing that. And in exam, they asked what is A? What is A? And in this graph, you can see there are two things that are above this line. So this is our no secretion and no absorption line. So PAH is above the line and creatinine is also above the line but there was no option for creatinine there was only option for PAH. See urea and chloride are getting secreted into the urine. Sodium, sodium and potassium are not really changing much but HCO3- which is bicarbonate, amino acid and glucose are getting absorbed in the kidney. Bicarbonate is not really getting that much absorbed by the kidney but as you can see the glucose is getting emptied like nearly here at 25% of PCT length. So this is really important graph and this was very smart question too. So now we are going to move on to third question. Third question is gamma carboxyglutamate zymogen activated by and the simple answer is vitamin K. And it is nicely written here as you can see gamma carboxylation of the glutamic acid residue on various protein required for blood clotting synthesized by intestinal flora and blood clotting factor are also given here which are necessary this is 2 7 9 10 C and S so this will be really really concise and precise information that you will get from first aid and there is every information from vitamin K is described here. Now we are going to move on to fourth question and that is resting tremor, rigidity, lack of expression and area affected is. So these symptoms are for Parkinson's disease and in Parkinson's disease area affected is our basal ganglia. So in basal ganglia as you can see there is nicely written Parkinson's disease and other diseases like Huntington disease and Wilson disease and what they do in this page is that they have given all the areas of the brain and from the which area from the which area disease are originating from and this is really concise so you can just go over this page and you will have idea of every lesion that is occurring on brain by just reading this page. Fifth question is Lewy bodies and resting tremor and rigidity. This is again Parkinson disease. This is again Parkinson. So Lewy body is a giveaway. So as you can see Lewy body composed of the alpha synuclein and those are intracellular eosinophilic inclusions. And this is concisely given here. Now we will see the sixth question which is confusion, ataxia and six no palsy. So confusion, ataxia and six nerve palsy is very repeatedly asking question and this occur in Wernicke. So this is typical vitamin B1 deficiency, thymine deficiency. As you can see Wernicke encephalopathy, there are triad of confusion, ophthalmoplegia and ataxia. Confusion, ophthalmoplegia and ataxia. And there was another question for transketolase. Transketolase is basically used in HM patient and which cofactor has role in it that is vitamin B1 and it is written right here transketolase in HM patient. So this is really nice and concise information that you will find 
for vitamin B1 deficiency and also you will find that they often ask the treatment how you will treat the alcoholic patients and here also it is written that you will first give thymine you will go first give thymine then you will give dextrose because if you give dextrose first then thymine deficiency will get worse now we are gonna move on to another question and that is our this graph in this the second number was asked what is phase 2 and this phase 2 is play 2 and in play 2 what happen is that calcium influx through voltage gated calcium channels balances the potassium efflux calcium influx trigger calcium releases from sarcoplasmic reticulum and myocyte contraction occurs and also i have added that these calcium channels are l type so most of the question you can solve if you have just done the first aid now we are going to move on to another question is that rds respiratory distress syndrome and decreased surfactant if you don't have surfactant then our alveoli will get collapse so what will occur so if we have rds here if we have a rds then our compliance will decrease and that was asked in the question that what will happen compliance will decrease and tension will increase so this is really easy ninth question was if our insulin glucagon ratio falls what happens so in this glucagon is getting higher and that's why our ratio is falling so you have to know that when glucagon is high glucagon is high when we are fasting so when we are fasting what occurs hepatic glycogenolysis hepatic gluconeogenesis and adipose release of free fatty acid and why these free fatties are getting secreted from the adipose tissue because of our hormone sensitive lipase which is our hsl hormone sensitive lipase and so that's why in fasting stage when our glucagon is higher our hormone sensitive lipase level is high and that was asked in the exam so hormone sensitive lipase level will go up so next we are going to move on to another question which is 25 year old decrease in hemoglobin decrease in platelet count gum bleeding increase in pt and aptt and odd rod cell in smear they have given the photo of odd rod cell and you have you had to identify the odd rod cell so let's say in the first state that what they have written so first sentence is odd rod cells odd rod cell also translocation of 15 and 17 they have also given the translocation of the 15 and 17 and there are dic like symptoms also so increase in aptt increase in ptt decrease in platelet count is dic like symptoms so all the things are given in first aid you just have to memorize it or you have to understand the concepts so next question is creatine is 4.5 hbs ag positive spike and dome pattern on kidney biopsy so which is this obviously this is our membranous nephropathy or in other words membranar glomerular nephritis also written that spike and dome shape appearance of the subepithelial deposit in electron microscopy and also written that hbv and hcv infections patient and who have sle are more prone to get this disease so from this video i just wanted to say that if you have just done first aid for your revision in your NEET PG exam you can get even a higher rank by just doing this i will highly recommend you that if you have done your all the course first then do revision from first aid it will really really help you so if you have liked this video then please hit the like button because your likes matters to me so much and if you like watching my videos then please subscribe to this channel and i will see you in another one